No one could have imagined that four years after Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans would still be struggling to recover. Thousands of families are still displaced from the city and the surrounding Gulf Coast region. Many of them want to come back, but government bureaucracy has done everything in its power to hinder their return. These people cannot come home. They cannot begin to rebuild their lives. Amazing Atheist here, on my way to do some charityness, cause I'm altruistic and sh Good times. Galen's driving us. Ooh. We'll be lucky if we get there. Wee! Here, you can drive better with it in your face like this. God damn you. I made my way across Lake Pontchartrain to the city of New Orleans. Home of the Saints, the Po' Boy, the Mufalada, the Blues, and Bourbon Street. It is the city where my father grew up in the St. Thomas housing projects. The city tore his old neighborhood down years ago and built a Walmart in its place. I've never asked my father if the reason he chose to change his name to Thomas was to remind himself of where he came from. And now it's too late to ask that question. I crossed the Claiborne Avenue Bridge into the Lower Ninth Ward, perhaps the area most affected by Katrina. It is also the location of the headquarters for Common Ground Relief, one of the few volunteer organizations working to rebuild a part of the city that local and federal government wanted to simply tear down. I spoke to Tom Pepper, the current director of Common Ground, about his organization. Uh, my name's Tom Pepper. I'm the operations director of Common Ground Relief. Well, right now, uh, we've had a little over 27,000 volunteers that have volunteered with us here at Common Ground Relief. Uh, we are still doing a large uh, volunteer effort for community rebuilding, uh, which includes uh, the renovation work in the interior of houses that were flood damaged throughout the city. We're building a model house next door that will be part of our parish-wide rebuilding effort. Uh, we continue to go ahead and operate our free legal clinic, um, which is doing a, still doing quite a bit of uh, advocacy work for returning residents. Uh, we're uh, handling a lot of civil cases, but also a lot of uh, contractor fraud, uh, as well as uh, continuing to work with road home applications and, and uh, additional documentation that uh, property owners need in order to come back and uh, get uh, insurance proceeds and, and road home monies. We've also created some education programs here at uh, Martin Luther King Charter School here in the Ninth Ward. Um, the, those efforts, and, um, and, and then again, um, our job training program, where we're hiring local residents, but also the formerly incarcerated, uh, making sure that they get necessary medical attention, and uh, you know, going ahead and trying to uh, create jobs and opportunities for returning residents here in New Orleans. But Tom isn't the only one trying to help rebuild the city. Hey everybody, I'm Healthy Addict, and I'm a student at Ohio State. I'm also the events coordinator for the Students for Free Thought, which is basically the atheist group on campus. So last year, I made a friend, and not just any kind of friend for an atheist, but a reverend, Reverend Jonathan Wire. So given our two different views, uh, we decided that we'd start holding events together, doing different things. And one of those things that we did was go on a mission trip, if you will, to New Orleans to help rebuild. It went fantastic and we've made plans to do it again this year with an even larger group of atheists and Christians. Used to be houses here. It used yeah. to be... Right, well Common Ground Relief was founded uh, several days after Hurricane Katrina struck uh, over on the West Bank, uh, which is across the river. Um, you know, and within days there were several hundred volunteers that were here. Uh, in, um, in the West Bank. Uh, we initially set up a, uh, a free clinic, which is now operating under its own uh, auspices, the Common Ground Health Clinic in Algiers, which is uh, still uh, doing very well. Uh, but uh, what we started doing originally was going ahead and doing house gutting and uh, the gutting of uh, businesses and schools here uh, throughout the, the Ninth Ward. Um, and that was sort of our main effort for about the first year and a half of our existence. Uh, we established a, a woman's shelter, uh, which is now uh, currently operating as the New Orleans Women's Shelter uh, over here in the Ninth Ward. Uh, we had uh, nine food and water distribution centers in seven parishes. Uh, and it was going ahead and providing you know, tools uh, and, and labor uh, to help the community try to, to dig out and, and, and reestablish themselves here and, and uh, you know, throughout the city.
you know, one of the problems that a lot of people still have is just this um, lack of help on the part of city officials here uh, to go ahead and provide just the basic services. Um, you know, here people have had to evacuate New Orleans. Uh, you know, they're, they're living in cities that are five, six, seven hours away and, and trying to come back and not being able to have access to City Hall and, and city services so they can go ahead and get permits and, and, and meet with inspectors. Um, you know, there's just every obstacle that can be thrown in people's ways, way have been thrown. Uh, FEMA had allocated $82 million to rebuild the schools here in the Lower Ninth Ward. Uh, the monies have all been reallocated to other areas of the parish. Uh, so now there is a Lower Ninth Ward school development group uh, which has come together uh, to go ahead and, and create plans and drawings uh, for a new K-8 through and also a high school. And we're going to shortly begin raising money and uh, creating awareness as to what happened here with the FEMA monies and the lack of cooperation that we're getting from uh, the, uh, the local authorities here as this community tries to rebuild. And this is pretty representative of a house that we can build throughout the city of New Orleans. Uh, but this is going to be a three bedroom, two bath house that's raised and it has an eight foot elevation. Uh, with an elevator, it's uh, completely green friendly. And um, but it's a house that we can sell for all our, on, build on someone's lot starting at around $90 a square foot. I stood on that foundation and I realized a house stood here once, and now a house will stand here again. No thanks to the government, but entirely because of the people. Entirely because of private citizens working their asses off for what is right. Here a house stood. Here a house will stand again. This is not just a foundation for a house. It is the symbol of resiliency. So I made a deal with Tom. I told him that I would, on behalf of my website, freespeechvids.com, start a blog TV show at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on January 15th, and I would not complete it until 9 p.m. Eastern Time on January 16th a full 24-hour show, and in that 24-hour show, it is my goal to raise at least $20,000 for Common Ground. Not only do you get to help raise money for Common Ground, but you also get the opportunity to help our two little atheist and Christian organizations here in Ohio go down to New Orleans to continue the relief work. We only need about $1,500, um, and for every two dollars donated, you can ask myself or the Reverend John Wire himself any question you want. Also, for every ten dollars donated, we're going to be giving away prizes. You'll get an opportunity to get your name entered into a raffle and win some prizes such as Ray Comfort's Origin of Species. So stop on by. That part of the show starts at 9 p.m. PZ Myers is going to be doing an interview with John, so he'll be on for a half hour. And we'll also have Brian Brushwood of Scam School and a couple of other YouTubers pop in. So let's face it, so sometimes we atheists and Christians like to argue on YouTube. Okay, well, all the time. But let's kind of put that stuff to the side for a minute, find some common ground, and actually help some people. So, see you guys Friday and Saturday. If you'd like to learn more about Common Ground, a link to their website can be found in this video's description section. If for some reason you can't make it to the show, or you just don't feel like waiting, you can donate now at www.firstgiving.com forward slash common ground. We also ask that you visit our website, freespeechvids.com. Uh, we're a relatively new site. We've got a few talented people on there now. We're always looking for more. I ask that you go there, check out our content, and keep checking back because we'll be adding new content all the time. We appreciate your support. Common Ground appreciates your support. And most of all, the City of New Orleans appreciates your continued support. I'm The Amazing Atheist. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would because I do some rather interesting stuff if I do say so myself. And yes, even in a serious video about a serious subject matter, I am not afraid to be a sub-whore. Thank you very much.